Hello Village Church folks. This is a quick YouTube tutorial on how to do a video for uh, the music that we're going to be doing. And uh, first of all, you want to make sure that you are in a well-lighted space. Uh, this one I'm just using natural daylight. That uh, tends to be the best. Uh, you may want to stand directly in front of a window uh, because I've got glasses on. I can't do that. You'll see I get a little bit of glare, so I, I have to stand off to the side, but overall this room is pretty naturally lit. You want to do something that's um, generally interesting background. Um, you'll see uh, that I've got a cat tree uh, over there, so in this case I might shift it over just a little bit. You want to use uh, the uh, portrait function, which is the uh, uh, wide shot versus the narrow function on your phone. Uh, you want to help set up the shot so that the camera is basically eye level or just above it. Eye level or just above it. And you want to make sure that you are in the middle of your screen and basically the top half. Uh, we may have to cut things, we may have to focus in on you, so we want to make sure that that gets uh, as easy as possible so that you're in the center of your screen. Uh, for uh, the chancel choir, uh, this will be just a lip syncing exercise, meaning that you don't. We aren't going to use the audio from this file uh, for the for the actual mix that we will be uh, using. This will just be to create one of those virtual choir videos with the audio that you are going to send separate. Uh, in this case. Uh, unlike the other uh, situation wh where we need the audio, you are going to use your, um, you, we, you can play the song back through your speakers and that you can, um, so you don't need to use headphones in this case. Uh, if you don't have the piece memorized, then you will want to set up music in such a way uh, that you can uh, reference it easy in comparison to your camera. So uh, in this case, like I might set up the iPad uh, just below on a music stand, just below the camera. Uh, I might even place the camera on the I on the music stand as long as you can get the shot the way you need it to look uh, for that. So whatever uh, setup is going to work best for you. Um, if you have it memorized, that's even better. More eye contact is better with the camera. Of course, in a, in a service situation, we're almost always looking at our music or looking up just to check in, uh, but people are used to singers looking directly at the camera, so that feels more natural to them than somebody who's just looking, looking like this. Of course, you will uh, watch your own video and note that as well. So the more you can look at it, the better. You want to have your speaker set up so that, uh, that the camera can pick up the audio when you do it. So in this case, I've got the Lord bless you and keep you uh, set up, ready to go. Um, I have it memorized, although I'm not going to be singing for you at this time. Um, but I will uh, initiate the track so that you can see uh, the things that we need to do. Um, we want to, like we did for the audio recordings, we want to do a, a clap. Uh, which will give us an audible marker that we can line up everything with. Uh, and that's that's why in the movies you see those uh, the placards that say action. They're, all, they're lining up the audio and the video in that case. So that's what we're going to be doing in this case. And um, I'm going to get this video started um, here. So uh, for this, as you're well aware, I we start with the Lord bless you and keep you. We're starting with pitches. Uh, for other projects, that won't always be the case because it starts with accompaniment. Um, but, uh, there will always be, uh, eight, well, two bars of click track for the Lord bless you and keep you. It's one bar with three counts, but you get the idea. I will model that for you here. So here we go. One, two, three, four. The Lord bless you and, and you get the idea. Yeah. So uh, that's how that will work. Um, obviously you will wanna set up the shot several times and practice it. Get everything set up in your uh, situation. If you need to do extra lighting uh, to make it work uh, in your uh, house, do whatever you need to do. You wanna be mindful of the background. We're not sure how much uh, of the shot we're gonna be able to use. It might just be this much. It could be the whole thing. Uh, so make sure that you have a background that you don't mind sharing with the rest of the church. Uh, you wanna make sure that uh, you are dressed nicely for church. Um, we even thought about distributing choir robes, but 
not worth it at all. And uh, yeah, have fun with it. It's a, it's a, it's a process. It doesn't need to be one take at all. Uh, so go ahead, uh, experiment, watch it back, and uh, and we can get everything you need to do. All right, thanks.